the way we check the acuity is is with a with the Snell and I chart. We use a low vision chart which sets in the child lap, but it's basically a a, a large eye chart. When you see the uh, when you when you measure a large letter on a on a single page on a chart, they have one chance to get it right or wrong. There is not the next page just as in the eye chart is a letter that's much smaller. So it's hard to in the in the uh, weaker prescriptions, it's hard to to get a definitive answer. If the child comes in tired, they may not be able to see the one big letter. They may get it the right the next time, but if they miss it the first one, the next page is another 25% or 30% improvement and, or a smaller letter, and they may not be able to uh, visually see that. And so it's there. The changes are small. That's uh, why why the, the longer term follow up becomes necessary because you can't. You can't just look at it from day to day. You have to see the trend. You have to look at the trend and follow the history on it. The acuity is not the, the best test to, to look at the, the chart, the eye chart. What we look at is uh, the information on the MRI to make sure the diagnosis is correct. We look at the uh, optic nerve. We take a look at the, the retina and the optic nerve to make sure that it is truly the optic nerve hypoplasia or the SOD because it's that's the ones that we know have been treated the, successfully. We look at uh, having an MRI done as well as an ERG, electroretinogram, and, and or visually evoked potential and or a visual evoked response, which are electronic testing to test the function of the optic nerve and the optic pathway to make sure the signals are getting from the front, the eye in front to the, the vision center in the back of the brain. The placebo effect eventually wears off. The, if it's a placebo effect, and I, there may be some of that. I had a, I had a uh, comment once that even that a, a mother, the, the talk about the lack of understanding of what what actually goes on using the umbilical cells. That the question to somebody was, if they use the stem cells of an Asian baby, will their child develop Asian characteristics? And it's just the uh, lack of knowledge or lack of understanding of what actually goes on. The stem cells, like every other cell in your body, is going to degenerate over a period of time. And the uh, if it's if they come in there, if there is some placebo effect, maybe it's if it jump starts it, great. But the placebo effect's not going to be it's something that continues. The two I've had is I've been kicked in the shin and had my ear uh, eardrums almost shattered from screaming kids. But it is uh, I've not seen for the side effects for the kids. I've not seen any problems at all. Uh, the kids all ex experience uh, normal growth patterns that we see with other children their age. Uh, the health and everything seems to stay well within the normal limits. I don't see any side effects. It's just all it does, it's, it looks like a booster shot to help them along their path a little bit quicker. Medicine doesn't know everything. The doctors don't know everything. They know what they've read and they know what they've been trained. And this technology is new enough to probably a majority of them that that it is uh, they don't want to they don't want to take a step they want to they don't want to get out of the box and rather than uh, taking care of the child the, with the CP in the wheelchair or the the hypoplasia child in the wheelchair they tend to overlook and look for the easy way out and move on to the next person without devoting time there the quality of life is the big thing the quality of life these people may never be able to sit down and read the, the want ads but they they can do things that everybody else hasn't been enjoying and just overlooks. Be patient. Be patient with everybody around you. It is a new enough procedure that the doctors, the medical community, does not fully embrace it. You will find people that are very negative, very skeptical about it. At best, skeptical. At worst, much worse than that. Families that mean well, but they they don't have the same interest as you would as a parent. And so if, if they don't agree with you, don't take it too personally. Just, just move on and do what, you're, do what you think you need to be doing. These are truly, of all the, I've been doing this for 25 years, and these are truly, these, these families, the, the children and their family are truly the most dramatic patients I've ever seen. And I wouldn't trade them for anything. I, I would encourage everybody to take, if they have an opportunity to, to follow one of these children, that it is something that will really give them an insight into what they're doing, the true insight into what they're doing.